All right, for this mini book, we're going to start out with eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Or you start out with whatever size you want because we're going to cut these down so that they fold into, um, let's see, I'm going to cut these down to six and a half the long way. And then if we want it to be four and a half. So we need to cut it to nine. So it's four and a half plus four and a half is nine. So nine, six and a half by nine. And you want to cut, I think four of these will be okay. Nine by six and a half. Okay. Nine by six and a half. And then the last one. Nine by six and a half. Okay. We're going to set these four aside. And then you're going to get your pattern paper out while we already have the trimmer out. We're going to cut down. We're going to get five sheets of this 12 by 12. You're going to cut these down to four and a quarter by six and a quarter horizontal. And then so vertical pictures is what you'll have by six and a quarter. And you need to cut out 10 sheets, 10 separate or 10 of the same or 10 separate, however you're going to do. I am going to do um, two of each. So I only have five sheets of paper out. Well, actually, I'm going to do a different cover. So, but you'll see that. So, so I like the uh, little journaling, the girl that's in the front. Like, she's super, she's super fly. So I'm going to put her on the front. One, two, three, four. And we're going to start going backwards. So we're going to make nine, or I am, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and nine. Alright, and then this one is going to cover my whole front. I like her here. So, how did I say I was going to do that? That's going to be the whole six and a half. But I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just because. Wait, wait, wait. I did that wrong again. I did it wrong again. It's going to be four. It's supposed to be, the cover is four and a half, but I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Because I know that I need, I'm going to put the whole cover on it and then glue it. And then it's by six and a half, so I'm going to cut it to about right there. Okay. So, let's get this cleared away. Dang it, did I lose my... Oh, those are all there. Okay. I thought I'd mix all of my papers here together. I'm going to put these... Somewhere I may be able to use them later. Okay. We're going to get our scoreboard out. And then bring our black cardstock back. And we're going to cut these down to four and a half. Or not cut, score. All these down to four and a half. On the nine inch side. And then make sure you give them a good crease. 
really easy. These will be great for craft fairs as well. Okay. So what we're going to do is this is going to be this cover right here. See, isn't that going to be lovely? Yes. So I had to hold it up to the light and see where I wanted it at. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So um, I'm going to cover the rest of all of them first. Let's put these together. I'm going to use my wet glue. We're going to put these back to back. So you got your paper like this. Close it up. You can use wet glue or dry glue. You know what? I'm actually going to use double-sided tape for this because I think it'll be better a little bit more sturdier I guess so we're going to just use some tape to adhere just the these covers back to back wet glue should work too I'm not, I'm not saying that it won't but I need to find something to pick up this these tabs because I know that I'm gonna have an issue. All right. Okay. So we're going to that's on the back. We're gonna take this next one and we're gonna line up the back to the back. Just line them up. I'm gonna start at this corner try my best to match it up to the other corner and lay it down so we have that and that and you're going to do the same you're going to repeat this all the way to the end all right i have all my book or my pages put together for this quick little book okay so the next thing you want to do now is just add your paper and that, that's going to be on the front so I'm going to put you know my paper in here and your paper is cut again the this base is four and a half by six and a half this is four and a quarter by six and a quarter and then you can put your photo the recipient four by six right smack in the middle with a little border so I am going to use wet glue and add these little papers here which would be pretty easy to do Ooh, ooh, ooh. okay come on now there we go I could bring that little shiny mat back out but it's just such a glare on there okay and then you just want to layer these on like such and you just want to continue to do that all the way to the end of the book let's get this done so I will be so happy when I get done with this envelope not because I am not enjoying talking to you guys. Well, figuratively talking to you guys. Um, but I am excited for her to see it. And she doesn't do videos or anything. But I won't get to see her initial reaction. But I'm just excited for her to see To see it she'll be happy and that's the best part of crafting is one buying the stuff like I enjoy when I get something that I really like oh I can't wait to play what I like to look at it you know I'm not much of a hoarder of it I will I will open it and play with it you know if I buy it um, but I like to sit and look and think about what I'm going to create with it but the best part is making something with it and the recipient getting it so 
that's the best part at least for me it is so that makes me happy that makes me happy which is why we do it it keeps us sane or why I do it I can't say we because I don't know I'm just making sure I didn't put yeah I didn't I didn't because I only made two of the ice cream cones okay we already got the people hearts Flamingo, hearts, towers, people, ice cream cones. Put the hearts here. Da, 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 da. But yeah, this is a pretty paper, but I do wish that it was thicker. I mean, it'll be nice to be able to do like some really nice embellishments and stuff. Heavy duty without having to layer. Did I put those hearts upside down first? Okay. Just making sure. Let's see. What do I want on the back of this? The back one, I want the flamingos. So. And the people was on that side. So this time I'll put it over here. Oh, no. I can't do that because. Yeah. I'll put the ice cream over here. I'm going to have to put the people on the back. Maybe. I don't know. But I know one thing, that girl up there is adorable. Ain't she though? <laughs> As the old folks say. Ain't she though? Last thing on the back. See, so you guys heard mini album or mini book and was like, ah, didn't you? I know you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so this is going to, you know what? I better cut this down. I thought I was going to cover this whole book, but I think I'm going to be uni uniform and make this right. So this is four and a quarter, but I want this hand in there. So I'm going to cut it off right till it gets to the hand. And then flip it and then do four and a quarter. I'm gonna cut off some of her little, just a little bit of her flower. And then it's by six and a quarter. So we're gonna cut off what? We're gonna cut off her hair. Cut it down a little bit. And then we'll cut off a little bit of her dress. Right up under her hand. That works. All right. Yeah, because it kind of will look odd if I do that whole page like that, you know. So, now we're just going to put this on the cover here. And then I'm going to add a couple, well, I think I'm going to add a couple elements to this front. Just to give it some love. So it won't be so, so clean and simple. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp, which I should have did before I laid that thing down, or that paper down. I'm going to stamp some of these stars on here. I think they're cute. Yeah, they are. Well, let me see first, you know, it would be me to screw something up. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay. Do I want to put another one somewhere? Right there. Huh. Do I want to, do I want to put another one down here? Let's see, have to see it first. Yeah. Just one more. Because these are so cute. Right? Right there. Ha! <laughs> I did it! I didn't mess it up! Go, Tamika! Go, Tamika! Alright, so. Let's put that back in there before I lose it. Close this up. 
that was cool that's cool so another thing that I'm gonna do is I have this little doodad bag it came in a swap as a swap goodie and it's this cute little acrylic heart um, it was really pretty and I'm just gonna add some hot glue to this it's already has an adhesive button y'all know me I like to add extra I'm gonna put that on her shirt so cute all right and then I'm going to add um, what did I say else I was gonna do oh add some stickle love oh wait I was gonna add a little black dot to this bow let's see okay and then now this may be a bit much but I thought I'd try it so I have this lace I was gonna think about this, this one or this black one adding a little bit okay the black is too much but maybe adding some of this to the front what do you guys think wouldn't that be cute It'd be even cuter if I could gather it. I don't have a needle and thread on me right this second. But that'd be so nice. But maybe I can cut it and layer it. Let me see. If I draw, let me just sketch. I'm just sketching this dress thing out. And then I'm going to cut it. <sighs> Not with those scissors. Okay, because maybe we can do some, um, just some layers. I thought it was a cute idea. Okay, let's see if we can just copy this a couple times and see how it looks if it doesn't work it doesn't work right Just nothing beats a failure but a try so let's line that up with the rest of the lace pieces okay and I'm gonna cut around this and then cut around this one I'm actually going to fold this a couple times because I'm not trying to do this a whole bunch of time. I think four layers would be good enough. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Let's see. Yeah. And over here hmm now that just looks like a bunch of lace layered on top of each other let's see what happens when I glue them together on a strip on a strip of paper I don't know guys I'm just winging this I don't know it may not work but we'll see if not it looks cute like it is but if not then we'll just leave it and see if my glue gun will fit it won't work well I'll just add the glue strip and then I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of wrinkle up that a little bit and then I'm adding glue to the top of this next one. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of ball that up a little bit. And then I'm going to do this next one. I mean, just to create like maybe a full, a full gather. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. I'm not really a crafter. I'm just making stuff up as I go <laughs> with glue strings attached. 
and then I made one more So now, let's see, we're, I put that on the paper to use it as a base to hold the lace. So now we're going to cut off this extra as close to it as we can. Should have used black. Okay. Oh, that's super cute. I can trim that up. That's really cute, guys. That is cute. You know what would be cuter? If we add a strip of this black. Oh, she's going to love this. This is right up her alley. All right. I'm going to add. I'm, gonna, I'm cutting this in half because it's double. I only need a little piece. And I can go right across there. So I'm just going to add some glue to the top and then add the strip come on come on Be cute if I had some tool or something. Put that there. Now that that's cool off, I can actually hold it down. Let's see. I'm gonna try to bend it so it's a little straighter. All right. I cut the two middle pieces to add some dimension to make it a little bit fluffier. Yep. That's going down. So I'm going to add some glue to the back of that white strip. And she's going to go right, let's see, right there. And I can just hold it. Yes. 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 I love it. All right, so um, we can add, where did the stickles disappear off to? All right, so I want to add stickles to her lipstick, her heart earrings, like a few of these stars like dab it in there dab 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 and then um, the centers of these flowers Look. I love it simple easy well simple easy is the same thing I keep doing that but that's that. So I'm going to put this aside and let it dry. Ooh, this is all dry. Really, really cute. Everything's all dry. It's so pretty. I um, wanted to use this little charm. It's like a, what do you call this thing? It's a charm with a little bird on it, but this um, tassel. And it's so cute. It matches that. Really, really cute. I want to have like a little dangly. So what I'm going to do is open up this book to the middle. And I'm going to add some wet glue just to prevent to have the least amount of bulkiness it's a little wet glue there and I'm going to make sure I have this the way that I want it and I'm going to hang that and extend that right down that line and then that can just hang out look how cute that is it's so pretty and I could just hang out the top all willy-nilly like all right so that's that and that's just a tassel and a little bird 
that's pretty okay and then the next thing is the packaging so i use this embossing folder that i showed you guys in the beginning and i embossed this bag the glassine bag and then i also use the um scalloped circle squares again i like to try to stay uniform when i'm doing a swap i cut one out in the pattern paper and one out in this black chevron paper okay and then i also use like the rest of that little chevron to cut just a little tab a little piece of pattern paper for the tab at the top of this envelope i'm just going to fold that in half lengthwise it doesn't go the length of the glassine bag it's just in the middle this is just going to be used to as a topper so to speak all right i'm going to add some double-sided tape To that inside okay and then I'm going to use my crop a dial and punch two holes use some hole reinforcers put on the top of them these I got from Hobby Lobby because the Dollar Tree happened to be out there there all year round, except for the day that I came to get some. They didn't have a single pack of hole reinforcers. So they were $1.99 at Hobby Lobby. Um, so I went ahead and bought them because I needed them. Put some on the back here. And this one too. There we go. This one does not want to stay. There we go. Okay, so that's that. This is a way. I'm going to take back out my journaling. This sheet with all the little fun stuff on it. Die cuts. I'm going to cut out this perfume. Um, cut. Clean up this edge, it's got a little bit of wonky from that angle. Okay, so that's going to go right in here, but I'm going to cover it with um, white cardstock just to one, make it sturdy, and two, have like a little um, border to it. stock just a little sample piece that I had sitting off here scratch piece that I was using from one of the other projects okay. all right so now we can just put all this together I love the sound of this bag. Ah, life's a little pleasures. This is super cute. I would sign my name on it, but I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I will. I will do that. I'm going to put down here. Scrap the world. I should get a stamp from Regina. Regina is the owner of the Cutting Cafe, and she makes personalized stamp, but I need one. Created by, created for you by Scrap the World. I'm actually going to add a dimensional under this dress because I just saw that it popped up and I don't like it. So I'm going to add one right here. And you know what? It gives it some height. I'm going to add one right there. And then take it off the top. Sure these don't stick there we go cute I love it all right so now this can go in here
perfect fit. And that can go, I'm actually going to fold it this way. Let's see this chopper here. Nope. I don't want that extra little piece in the back, so I'm going to put, put it in this backwards way. Darn it, I don't want the seam showing. <gasps> we gotta have it this way then, I guess. I know, I'm a little OCD about it, but I just want it to be as perfect as I can get it. All right, that's better. That will work. And then, this is going to go like that. That's what I was saying. That's going to go on the topper like that. So let's take this tape off. Thought I had it. <laughs> Thought it was. All right. So that's going to go. Like that. And then this is going to go like this. I'm going to use some spray adhesive. Let me get my pig out. And I was going to put that kind of angly. And then this one is going to go at another angle. Let me get out the rest of my little, little, little dots here. Gonna go like that and then this perfume is gonna go like that so this perfume I mean this heavy one I can't, I'm not gonna trust with the spray I'm just gonna add wet glue to that put that on there and then I'm gonna add wet glue to this one and then put that there just layering just layering just layering and a little dot and then I'm gonna add some of this um, some of this lace on here I'm just add like a little bow that's why I have the whole reinforces on there so I can pull this through with minimal problems all right cut off the extra And then straighten out my bow. Let's close this up. So, can you guys tell what this kind of sorter I try to make it look like? A little perfume bottle? I attempt it super cute that is that one so let's bring them all together and see what we got all right we have our super cute calendar that we covered in the fabulous fashionista paper added this really cute bottle cap charm with the little lips in it on a clip got a cute little bowl really pretty that's wrapped in the clear bag and then we have the altered notebook she can write in and we have a little hello peeping out the top this has been stickled added some little flat back pearls to the back and it's got a little stick on the back and then finally we have embossed this glassine bag so we have our mini photo book in there 
and it's super cute with some layers from the die and some cute little um, lace at the top. So adding that to our book will be a fabulous addition. And thank you guys for chatting and crafting with me. Our easy, simple crafts. Easy and simple. Easy and expensive crafts to add to any craft fair or gift that you're giving, but definitely to a loaded envelope. All right, guys, don't forget to leave a comment, to like this video, to be eligible to win one of seven dies that I'm giving away at the end of this loaded envelope series. Leave me any ideas on things that you'd like to see in a, lo a loaded envelope eventually or um, any ideas that you'd like to see for my next series, which is the craft fair series. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.